Hey guys, it's the How To Guy123 here. I know it's been a while, but today I'm making a video on how to use um, an Xbox One controller wirelessly on Android. Alright, so what you're gonna need is um, obviously your phone. Uh, it can be running really any Android version. Uh, I have a Moto G first gen, so uh, the latest version is 5.1.1 Lollipop. It's kind of an older phone, but it really doesn't matter what version. Um, you also need an Xbox One S controller. It can only be the Xbox One S controller. You can't really use uh, the controller that comes with the original Xbox uh, One or uh, the Xbox One Elite because those don't have Bluetooth. Uh, the only uh, Xbox One controller that has Bluetooth is the ones that come with the Xbox One S, like the one I have here. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is uh, turn on Bluetooth. So if, if you don't know how to turn on Bluetooth, which you probably do, uh, you just swipe down from the top of your screen uh, that opens the notification drawer and swipe down again to uh, open the quick settings tray and then just tap on Bluetooth. Now under the uh, Bluetooth icon there should be a little arrow, tap on that and then tap on more settings and that should open uh, some more Bluetooth settings uh, in the uh, settings app. Now put your phone to the side for a second and uh, get out your Xbox One controller. As you can see here I have the uh, Xbox One S controller. Next, press the uh, Xbox Home button until it's flashing, and then at the top, press the small connection button until the Xbox Home button is flashing quickly. Now get your phone out again, make sure it's still on the uh, Bluetooth settings, and uh, your controller should pop up under Available Devices. Uh, it should be named Xbox Wireless Controller, and should have like a little controller icon right beside it. Um, it might take a few seconds to pop up, uh, maybe hit the refresh button a few times. And there we go, don't know what the F4 thing is. But all you, all you gotta do is uh, tap on it, uh, it should pair, and if it's successful, it should say connected. And uh, the uh, Xbox Home button should stay lit up on the controller. Um, if you have an error, just try it again. Um, I've had times where it said uh, uh, it failed to connect, and I just tried it again, and it should work the second time. And there you have it, your Xbox One controller should be properly connected to your Android device. As you can see here, I'm moving around the home and app screens with the controller. Uh, you should now be ready to play your games. Uh, in a second here, I'll show you some examples of Minecraft Pocket Edition and Dead Trigger 2 using the controller. Uh, I just want to mention first that not every single game is compatible with the uh, controller. Uh, only certain more like AAA title games are, so you'll have to uh, play around with that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, test out some games. Um, as you can see here, we have Minecraft Pocket Edition, and um, you can see me here moving around the menu with the controller. Um, you can even see the Xbox One button icons at the bottom. Um, you can even go ahead and uh, customize the controls to the way you like them in the settings. Um, uh, even in uh, Dead Trigger 2, even before you start playing, it asks you uh, to customize uh, the controls to the way you like them uh, before you even start playing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, at the end of the video, uh, right now I'm just gonna play some music, have a little like a little montage, and uh, at the end of the video, I'll just show you guys how to disconnect the controller um, when you're done playing, and I'll even have an annotation uh, at the or on the screen now, so you can uh, go ahead and skip around the uh, video to the end.
Alright, so when you're done playing, simply uh, just turn off Bluetooth. I would turn off Bluetooth because um, it can actually really waste your battery if you have it on. And um, to stop the flashing on the controller, just hold down the Xbox Home button for about 6 to 10 seconds. So that's the end of the video, I hope this helped, if it did leave a like, if it didn't leave a dislike, um, if you're having any problems uh, leave those problems in the comment section below um, and I'll try and help you out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.